At the end of the first half, if you can just keep your poise, stop the opponent, but uh, Texas somehow has not been able to do this, and I don't think it's a lack of conditioning because I know that Fred Akers has his team in excellent shape. So here come the Longhorns with a third down and three as we start the fourth quarter. Power eye. Dodge keeps it himself. First down and more. And Stafford, I beg your pardon, is finally thrown out of bounds up near the midfield stripe at about the 48-yard line. So Brett Stafford, his quarterback all the way, is rolled out of bounds by Carl Carter after a gain of 26. This is the same play that they called to score their touchdown earlier in the game. You can see it's a power eye formation. Stafford takes to the fullback. Tech closes on the fullback. Stafford keeps the ball, and he looks like a halfback running. You know, I mentioned Dodge a moment ago, who's not been in the ball game today, and the way Stafford has been going, and since Dodge is a senior and Stafford is a junior, I would imagine that Todd Dodge will probably spend a lot of time watching Stafford play the rest of the year. Bill Boy Bryant is now in. He's back from the injured list for Texas. He's a wide out. Go to the tailback. And it is Eric Metcalf brought down by Tim Crawford, 92, the defensive left end. He got two on the play and a second and eight coming. And Stafford has been a truly impressive football player. As we've mentioned, most of the passes that he's thrown have been on the run. He's thrown on third and long and completed the pass, having a good reaction, of course, by his receivers coming back to the ball, but he's been an impressive quarterback in this game. Bill Boy Bryant comes put to the left side. Second down. Stafford, the deep pitch to Eric Metcalf, and Metcalf gets across midfield and takes a real punch on the 49-yard line. And the lead tackler is Leonard Jones. Metcalf picked up four. Tim Crawford again saying hello to Eric Metcalf. Eric, an outstanding high school player in Arlington, Virginia. Old Metro, Washington, D.C. Outstanding old Metro player in Washington. Third down and four. And once again, a key play for Tech. They must stop them here. Third down, four coming up. Bill Boy Bryant splits out wide to the right side. A spinning, churning run by Jerome Johnson, and he has the first down at the 44-yard line. Merv Skerlark, number five, the sophomore from Monahan's Texas, on the hit, and he is a hitter. And a great job of play calling by Texas. The, the other previous third down play, Stafford faked to the fullback. Found a lot of daylight himself as we look at how much yardage Texas has made. This last time, instead of faking the fullback, he gave it to him, and he picked up the first down. First down, the ball close to the 43-yard line. That's where we'll call it. How about that one? With Metcalf carrying James Johnson, who was coming, and Michael Johnson, 42, in there for the loss. Mosley also got involved in the action. They were all <coughs> coming, expecting run, and they got the penetration bingo and made the hit Crawford first and then Mosley, and they were thinking fumble on the play. They didn't quite get the fumble, but they got the loss. Second down. Second down, 13 for Texas. Bill Boy Bryant splits to the left side. Gay is wide to the left for Texas. Stafford makes the pitch to Metcalf, the tailback. He cannot turn the corner. Good pursuit there, but the defense, they react very well. Doug McKinney, 57, the middle linebacker, getting over there in a hurry. Let's watch the play again, and Chester, the right guard, number 72, you can see him just at the top of your screen. What a beautiful job he does of knocking the Texas end, pardon me, the tech end off. Then he gives the ball carrier hunter a chance to turn the corner but he didn't quite get around he picked up a good gain on the play thanks though to Chester's good block after the six yard pickup it is still third down seven here comes the blitz Stafford rolling left and throwing on the run it is caught by Tim McRae the tight end an excellent job but a flag was thrown on the play back near midfield that's probably a holding call or is it against Texas Tech for roughing 18 yards picked up on the play 
And apparently the foul is going to be against Tech. The play. On the play. Once again, it's marvelous execution by Stafford as we've seen him drop back, then to suddenly spin, get outside of the Tech defense, throw the ball down the field, going to his left, and again, it's a beautiful reception by McCray. You could see how he kept his body between the defender and the ball. Yep, roughing the passer is the call. Stafford, 9 out of 10 passing today, 177 yards, one touchdown, no interception. Let's take a look at Bill Boy Bryant, the wide receiver here. You can see him start downfield, little fake to the outside, then breaks it again to the outside, and he's been hurt all season. As you can see him here, he once again is limping and uh, doesn't look like he's got his full speed. First down, Texas. Stafford gives off to his fullback, and that is Darren Norris. Mike Kinsey, 83, the strong linebacker, looking him right in the face at the 23-yard line. 11 Mike minutes Kinsey, and five seconds to go in the ball game. Fred Akers and his Longhorns leading by a score of 31 to 14. And comfortably within field goal range. We've always got Mr. Ward. For Jerry Moore, a nightmare first half, a one very questionable call, another tip pass and a 69-yard touchdown resulting from it. And a tough day for Tech. Second down, 10. Norris straight ahead inside the 20 to the 19. And Chilton once again blocking straight ahead. Artist Jackson, 69. The tank at 285, 6'5", makes the tackle. Gain of four on the play, however. Ward doing a little warm-up on the sideline. Don't know if he needs it. He sure executes well. Had a 51-yard field goal, the second longest of his career in the third quarter. Stafford, as you see, has also carried the ball for 59 yards. Texas has done a much better job holding on to that football today. You know, they fumbled 21 times and lost uh, 11 this year. Stafford loops it up there with a blitz on, incomplete, intended for Russell Hayes in the end zone. The coverage by Charles Jackson, the free safety, number 45. And the blitz was on. He read the blitz beautifully, but uh, Jackson did a good job of covering the hot receiver. So this is Mr. Ward again. He always anticipating. He's probably standing over and say, don't you guys score? We got a 31 to 14 lead. Give me a chance to kick another one. This will be a 37-yard effort right up the middle with Danny Akers holding. Ward, plenty of put into that one, even into the wind. A 37-yard field goal is good. So Texas puts three more on the board. And with 9.51 left to play in the game, it's Texas 34, Texas Tech 14, and we'll return after this. Unmistakably hot Unmistakably cool Unmistakably sharp Unmistakably smooth Unmistakably right Down to the last detail Tonight is unmistakably What kind of person buys a Curtis Mathis stereo? The technology is unbelievable. Well, a person who appreciates the quality and engineering of top-of-the-line audio systems. I'll pay by check. Every month. Or a person who wants easy monthly payments on the only stereo with a four-year warranty. Well, we don't want to buy it. We want to rent it. Or someone who doesn't want to rent just any old stereo, but a Curtis Mathis, Curtis Mathis stereo components. You won't believe your ears. Texas 34, Texas Tech 14, 74,000 or so here today. Had some no-shows because of the rain. It really rained very hard here all day yesterday, all throughout the night. And we've had a light mist in the first half. But it has not affected Brett Stafford, number 10, the Texas quarterback, who's had an outstanding afternoon. He's got great movement after he snapped the ball. He changes direction well and gets himself open to throw the ball, but he's also an excellent ball carrier. Kelly Robinson has identified the Texas Tech players for us today. Bobby Little for Texas. Thank you, gentlemen. It's going to be a little short. And the ball is grabbed around the 11-yard line. 
Bringing it back is Gerald Bean, and Bean gets up near the 29. Now let's check it's the scoreboard and see what else is happening today. Maryland winning and uh, Penn State getting a problem for Boston College, and Syracuse as large as their lead. And Minnesota coming back against Michigan State. Georgia killing Tulane. Oklahoma State beating Colorado and uh, Tech having a tougher time with Duke than they expected. First down, Billy Joe Tolliver at quarterback for Texas Tech. He drops back to throw. A little play action. Here comes a blitz, and Dulavin goes after him, and he gets him down. They were also coming from the other side. Loss of six yards on the play. Let's check more scores now while well, we have an opportunity with the North Carolina State leading South Carolina, third quarter. Michigan and Illinois in the second quarter. Indiana beating Wisconsin, and that's somewhat of an upset. Florida against Auburn, and that would be an upset. Mississippi State and Alabama tied, but it's only the first quarter. And LSU holding their lead against Mississippi. Second down, 16 for Texas Tech. Dale in motion to the right. Collar looks, and he's got Ferris wide open. Go down to the backfield. Irvin Ferris at the 32-yard line. So he got back the yards they lost, plus two more. Jackson on the tackle, and it'll be a gain of nine on the play. More scores now. Kansas leading Oklahoma in the first quarter. And Nebraska is expected against Kansas State. Houston TCU, 0-0. Arkansas and Rice, same score, but uh, first quarter also. Third down, seven, a long seven. That's Ferris in motion. Going to the top of your screen, here comes the rush. And Billy Joe Tolliver is going to have to run the football, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all. So Tolliver is brought down by Mike Jackson, who's down the defensive line for Texas, number 88. And excellent defensive series by Texas. They put great pressure on Tolliver. He simply did not have an opportunity to let the receivers get downfield, run their patterns, and then have time to get the ball to them. So Robert Grimes comes in to handle the punting. Eric Metcalf deep. Oh, they almost blocked it. Flag goes down. They get a penalty on roughing the kicker. It's Metcalf on the return. And Metcalf sees some daylight, cuts it back to the middle and right into the arms of Bronner, who was up there. Uh, Mitchell, rather. And roughing the kicker uh, going to be called. And that, of course, will give Texas Tech a first down. Pavali. Pawali, uh, brother, I think is going to get that call on roughing the kicker. Ty Allard. And we had another flag dropped down the field after the kicker had been rushed. Rucked. Uh, uh, Billy Joe Tolliver in the offense is back on the field now. Ty Allard, one of the co-captains of Texas, going in to see if he can't uh, get the word on what's happening here. We have seven minutes, 47 seconds left to go in the game. Texas is leading Texas Tech 34 to 14. You'll see Texas again next week at Houston in the Astrodome against the Houston Cougars. And Bart and I will be there to report it for you at noon on Raycom Sports. Oklahoma zero. Boy, this is... I thought that meeting in the United Nations ended last week. <laughs> I thought so, too. Long discussion here. Just a question of the timing of when the uh, penalties occurred, and that's an official decision that is official judgment, and so we just don't have to wait for it. Billy Joe Tolliver and Carl Carter trying to help out the call here. Well, here comes the call. Let me figure that one out, will you? I don't know why they're roughing the kicker, so apparently they, well, I guess they wouldn't have gotten the first down. Well, if the penalty had uh, been long enough, it would have been a first down, and I think it uh, simply was not a very good decision mm -hmm. by accepting the penalty. Let's take a look at it, and you can see the roughing of the kicker. Okay, that was running into the kicker and not roughing, apparently. I believe. Let's see. Running into the kicker? Yes. But if you hit the kicker, that's the penalty, and there's no question about it. And then again, we, we see right in the middle of the screen here, and you can see the clip. 
Bingo right there on 96, and uh, Metcalf gets it turned upfield. That uh, Texas gets the ball. I think that they could have gotten the first down. Texas Tech by accepting the roughing of the kicker penalty. Shannon Kelly is now the quarterback for the University of Texas as he runs his first play, and it is stopped by Tim Crawford. Peter Pope getting the call. We haven't seen much of Peter Pope this year. The difference in uh, what we, as we did the replay, running to the kicker is not a, running into the kicker is not a major penalty. Roughing the kicker is running into the kicker is five yards, and so they wouldn't have had the first down. As we uh, more or less than alluded to, that's anyway. correct. Running play with Nelson, the wide receiver, getting the call. Also a running back, and Mike Kinsey stops the play. Fred Aker starting to use a lot of running backs now. Second down coming up, seven yards to go for Texas. We had a flag in the last play and a clipping call against Texas. Doesn't hurt them very much to get all of these penalties that score as it is, and this late in the game. Fred Aker's using a lot of people now. That penalty will take the ball back to the seven yard line. Seven minutes, five seconds remaining in the ball game. Anthony Byerly is now in. We haven't seen much of him uh, this year either. Shannon Kelly, a blue chipper, has not played until right now. Has the strongest arms of all the Texas quarterbacks. He's 6'2", 172 pounds from Memorial High School in Houston. And he is now the quarterback for Texas. Second down, 16. Peter Pope, no place to go. It was Tim Crawford, 92, who's been very busy today for Texas Tech, the defensive left end. The people have been working on him, but uh, they have not been able to block him. As you said, he's been on, on almost all the tackles of plays that come his way. When Mary Lou Retton goes to parties, her date is Shannon Kelly, who's now the quarterback for Texas. Third down, 14. The fullback gets the call, and they get across the 10, but that's all. Brad Hastings sticks his nose in there to knock Peter Pope off his feet. So it's fourth down and still about 12 for Texas. Five minutes, 53 seconds left of the ball game. The Longhorns of Texas lead the Red Raiders of Texas Tech 34 to 14. At halftime, Tech trailed 21 to 7. Tyrone Thurman goes back deep to get ready to accept. Is this the second punt of the day for Talchik? It is. That's correct. He's averaging 43.6 yards per kick. Talchik barefoots it. High into the air and downfield. The ball is going to be fielded by Thurman at the 45. And Thurman is knocked off his feet at the 45 of Texas. A 43-yard kick and a 9-yard return by Thurman. And we'll come back to Memorial Stadium in just a moment. You know, when I started dipping Kodiak, made my friend here real happy because it's his brand. Now it's my brand, too. It's good and moist with a special cut that packs right, and it's got a big, fresh, wintergreen flavor. But <laughs> don't take my word for it. Just ask my friend here. <laughs> he really got away with words, don't he? <laughs> Texas, 71,000 miles of highway and over 3,200 towns and cities, and no one covers it like Central Freight Lines. Truckloads, packages, big business and small, Central's been serving Texas reliably for over 60 years. Now, in big cities like Dallas and Houston, you've come to expect that kind of service. And in a town the size of Gun Barrel City, well, you can expect it too. Central Freight Lines, we're loaded with pride. Red Raiders have the ball on the Texas 45-yard line. Good field position for Billy Joe Tolliver at quarterback. They go into the wishbone, and Thurman, check that, Walker splits out wide to the right side. Walker scored on an 80-yard touchdown run on a reverse. Here is Tolliver looking for him. Tolliver lets it go. Archie get high for Walker, and it is tipped away before he can get his hand on the ball by Stephen Braggs, the left quarterback. Oh, <laughs> 
Ball a little bit underthrown. Really Morris going down the field. He's got this beautiful speed. Look when he turns it on. The Texas people are after him, but the ball is underthrown. He's got to wait for it. That gives the Texas defender a chance to see the ball, reach up, knock it away. Now it's second down and 10 on the 45-yard line. This time, Lemuel Stinson is split to the right side for Texas Tech as he has come into the ball game. Bean in motion, now comes back in the wing spot as Tolliver looks and throws, and it's incomplete. Texas, uh, going to make sure that wasn't, uh, they were looking maybe lateral, but it wasn't, as Stinson was the intended receiver on the screen right. Texas was playing screen all the way as we take a look at the receiver going downfield and then coming back. But the Texas defender, Stinson, is right there with him all of the way. Man-for-man -man pass defense, beautifully executed. Lemuel Stinson is the young man who was in the end zone. Apparently to catch a winning touchdown pass against Rice, had it bounce off his chest, and you talk about a kid that was heartbroken. The teammates rallied around him as Tolliver now drops the throw, and Tolliver under a rush throws it incomplete. Intended for Gerald Bean coming out of the backfield. As Senegal had the coverage for strong safety. Now the Texas defensive unit is really putting some heat on Billy Joe Tolliver. Doing a good job of rushing, but also an excellent job of coverage in the secondary by the safety men, cornerbacks, and the linebackers. Fourth down coming up. Walker comes in. I'm glad to see him going for it. Yes, sir. Fourth down, 10 yards to go on the 44-yard line of Texas. Five minutes, two seconds remaining in the ball game. Bruce Perkins splits wide to the left side. Coming to the right side is Wayne Walker. Being in motion, Tolliver on a drop. Here comes the blitz. He tries to get out of it. He's got enough room to run for a first down, and he's got it in four as Billy Joe Tolliver is out of bounds on the 25-yard line of the University of Texas. Run out of bounds by Gerald Senegal. The strong safety, a 20-yard run by Tolliver. This is a beautiful execution by this young quarterback. You see him dropping back, and Texas is blitzing. You can see them all come. I didn't know we had this much speed, but he turns the corner. They lost leverage on him. Then he turns it upfield, gets a block from his flanker, picks up the extra yardage, and gains 20 yards on the play. The ball has been officially marked on the 26-yard line now as Tolliver, who gained 924 yards as a senior last year running the football, shows that he can still carry. McGowan, ooh, Texas defense took a look at that and said, uh-uh. A little bit of a delay or a draw, and McGowan got nothing but maybe a yard loss. Blake Brawner, 85, the senior from Richardson, made the tackle for Texas. Second and 11 coming. Take a look at the Texas defensive secondary this time, see whether they're blitzing, whether it's zone or whether it's man-to-man. -man. It's been blitz or man-to-man -man most of the time. Tolliver, second down 11. A lot of movement on that line. Flags go down all over the place. That almost is picked off by the University of Texas. Wayne Walker was the intended receiver and the cover man for the University of Texas was Fulbright, who's now in the defensive secondary. Let's see what the flags are about. It was illegal procedure, I believe, on the part of Dead ball, false start. Second down is the call. Second down and almost 16. Two wingmen, two wideouts. In motion is Dale. Tolliver under a rush again. Gets hit and still gets the ball away. And it's incomplete. What a recovery by Billy Joe Tolliver and Dale, who was split to the right, cut back across the field. He was covered by Fulbright and also by Jeffries, and somehow Tolliver got that ball away. This excellent execution. See Tolliver dropping back, and here comes the Texas Blitz. He pulls the ball down, moves two steps to his left, throws the ball downfield against double coverage, and had the ball pretty well on target. Incomplete pass, good coverage, but a great move by Tolliver. And that one, now, as we saw on the replay, was catchable. Wideouts, four. Hole in motion. Go to the run. Fumble again. And Texas recovery. Bronner fell on the ball. 
So once again, Texas Tech coughs the ball up on a fumble. And with three minutes and 44 seconds left in the game, Texas leads it by 34 to 14. When you want cash discounts on great gasolines, who's got it? Golf got it! Who's got low self-serve prices? Golf's got it. And when you want credit card convenience, who's got it? Golf got it. Cash discounts plus low self-serve prices for extra savings and credit card convenience. Who's got it all? Golf's got it. Golf's got it all. The Delta Professionals always make you feel like you're on top of the world. Delta gets you there. It's Texas Tech fumbling the ball away today. Texas, on the other hand, has fumbled once and recovered that fumble. Texas, going into the game today, had recovered, had rather had fumbled 21 times and lost 11 of those. Kelly, the quarterback, throwing on the run and the completion at the 45-yard line. Johnson, the wideout, Gabriel Johnson, brought down by Charles Jackson, the free safety. Kelly looks like uh, he's a man with a great future. Throwing out, throwing on the run, hitting Johnson perfectly right in the numbers. First down, 45-yard line of Texas. Three minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. Gabriel Johnson splits out wide to the left side. Shannon Kelly, the sophomore redshirt from Houston, now guiding the Texas offense, goes to the fullback. Straight ahead on the dive is Darren Norris. And they get out to the 49-yard line with that play. Tackle made by Ellis. Anthony Byerly in place of uh, Darren Norris. 24, place 34. Last week against SMU, Texas turned the ball over six times. This afternoon, no turnovers. Wide to the left side comes Gabriel Johnson on a second down and six. this one Shannon Kelly James Mosley the freshman defensive end covered him in a hurry they lose uh, a yard couldn't tell whether he was trying to run the option play or whether he just kind of got a bad start in the backfield third down seven third down coming up for Texas Shannon Kelly now the quarterback. Kelly throwing over the middle and a diving attempt for that one by Lucky is incomplete. And Mike Kinsey had the coverage on the play. Bud and I are watching today's game on monitors supplied by Curtis Mathis. Curtis Mathis, a little more expensive, but worth it. So the punting unit comes on for Texas. Coach Fred Aker is using a lot of people now. Two minutes, six seconds left of the ball game. Texas has this one wrapped up 34-14, the score right now. And John Tulchik comes out to the kicking. Thurman is back deep. Tyrone Thurman. Wynn catches that ball. It's fielded by the short man. And that's Leonard Jones, who's up short, taking the ball at about the 23. A 30-yard punt and no return. Exactly two minutes left to play. And Texas has a 20-point lead. Soldier, we know you. Courageous and brave. The country you honor. The flag that you wave. Soldier, we thank you. On Veterans Day, you're the pride of America. From the people at Coors to America's veterans. Beverly Hills, huh? Guess I'll get used to it. A rodeo's called Rodeo. And the best hotel is pink. 
I'm checking in, they're checking out. My machine is standing out. What's the matter with y'all? Ain't you ever seen a truck? Beverly Hills truck. The hero has arrived. Today's Dodge player of the game is Brett Stafford of the University of Texas. Dodge will contribute $1,000 to member institutions of the Southwest Conference, and the money will be distributed according to a conference-approved plan. Our Dodge player of the game, Brett Stafford of the University of Texas. Billy Joe Tolliver, the quarterback, under a rush again. Now cranks up, lets her go. Look at that ball go, will you? And it's caught. It is caught. And picking that one out of the air is Wayne Walker, who's already had a big afternoon for Texas Tech. He is down to the 15-yard line where Sonic, uh, Senegal runs him out of bounds. Tolliver has great poise. You see him dropping back. Then he's flushed out of the pocket. He's moving to his left. Sees downfield. Receiver Lawrence wide open. And he's got enough arm, even though he was throwing from that awkward position, to drop the ball right on target. Big, big play. Great execution. 62 yards on the play. His arm is so strong. On an almost a touchdown pass early, he threw off the wrong foot. He was going to throw off the wrong foot. There he does again. Wide open. Touchdown. Perkins. He is an impressive young man. Perkins. Nobody around him. Nowhere. Touchdown for Texas Tech. Man for man pass defense, and uh, when you lose your man, he is wide open, and Perkins was on that play. Tolliver's got one of the strongest arms I've ever seen, Coach. Particularly when he's moving in the wrong direction. It's very hard to throw the ball when you're right-handed moving to your left, and you're off balance, but he just whip. Great, great arm. Now the extra point try. Mallory pops it. And it's good. So with a minute, 33 seconds left of the game, Texas leading it 34-21. And let's watch Tolliver again as he drops back. He's rushed, moves forward, and beautiful poise. Puts it right on the target to Perkins, who is wide, wide open since they were a man for man and somebody forgot to cover him. Let's take one more look at the poise Tolliver has as he starts forward and avoids the rush, then sees his receiver wide open and drills the ball off balance right to the proper target. So with a minute 33 to go in the ball game, uh, Tech fans are encouraged by this young man, Billy Joe Tolliver. possession is more precious than life, and no business more rewarding than improving life. At Jefferson Pilot, we've spent over 75 years making lives better, richer, and more secure through our companies in insurance, broadcasting, and publishing. Jefferson Pilot, dedicated to life and the things that make it worth living. On a cloudy overcast, Misty day, we now have sunshine at Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas. And Mallory is getting all keyed up for an onside kick as they overload the left side of the field, or top side, if you will, on your screen. Texas with lots of hands, receivers, and backs up there to field this ball, and they go for it. It is still bouncing around, and Tech may have it. Nope, one more time, it got away. The officials will dig it out. They had their shot. They yeah. sure did. Looked like they had it at the 40, and then apparently it eluded the uh, would-be man who re recovered, <laughs> and it's finally pulled out of there, and Braggs gets the recovery. Excellent execution of the onside kick. Mallory coming across, kicking the ball on the ground. It bounces, and it took the beautiful hop for Tech. 
Texas receiver went up to get it, but the ball bounces loose, and now look at the number of men that try to fall on the ball, and it appeared Tech had it at the moment. The ball took a couple of more bad bounces, and if you're a Tech man, you say bad bounces. If you're a Texas man, you said it was a true bounce, and Bragg making the recovery. So Texas has the ball, and Shannon Kelly is the quarterback. Kelly gives off to his tailback, Anthony Byerly, and Byerly is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Going up to make the tackle is James Johnson, number 40, the linebacker. Jerry Moore saw his Red Raiders get a couple of tough breaks in the first half. This is a team that uh, just has not had any good fortune all year, and the completed pass that uh, was caught was caught by the man Gay out of bounds on the play, and then the deflected passes were 14 points in the first half that uh, somewhat doubtful. Here's Shannon Kelly. Kelly again giving off to Byerly, moving the ball up to the 45. The, the uh, Longhorns with 42 seconds to go have a 34 to 21 lead. But Stafford has been so impressive today, Coach, and uh, this Texas football team certainly came out here to take charge this afternoon after taking that walloping by SMU. And they did a very good job, and they did not turn over the ball after the bad experience last week of six turnovers against SMU. So it's Texas 34, Texas Tech 21. We have 42 seconds left to play in the ball game in a third and six 